No, I don't see any cavities in there except maybe for that big one in that skull of yours. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find 500 posts on medical preparedness for any disaster. This is the infamous TD bird. He's so smart his neck aches from holding up his ginormous bird brain. And this guy, well, he needs nor deserves any introduction. Many people in the preparedness community are ready for injuries and illness, but few people realize that dental problems may be part and parcel of any long-term survival scenario. Dental equipment may not be necessary if you spend a few days without power due to a storm, but if you're off the grid for six months or longer, this equipment will come in very handy. If dental supplies are one of the holes in your medical preparedness plan, then you're likely to have a lot of holes in your smile. That's why we have dental kits on our online store as well as medical kits. Now in this video we'll discuss how bacteria cause tooth disease. Bacteria live in your mouth and they colonize your teeth. Usually they will accumulate in the crevices on your molars and at the level where the teeth and gums meet. These colonies form an irregular thick film on the base of your enamel known as tartar or plaque. The more tartar you have, the less healthy your gums and teeth are. When you eat, these bacterial colonies also have a meal. They digest the sugars you take in and produce a toxic acid. This acid has the effect of slowly dissolving the enamel of your teeth. The outside of the tooth is shiny. This commonly happens around areas where you've had dental work done already, uh, maybe the edges of fillings or under crowns or caps. Now once the enamel has broken down, you have what's called a cavity. This could take just a few months to cause problems or it could take two or three years. Once the cavity becomes deep enough to invade the soft inner part of the tooth, the pulp, the process speeds up and because you have living nerves in each tooth, starts to cause pain. If the cavity isn't dealt with, it can lead to infection once the bacteria dig deep enough into the nerve or the surrounding gum tissue. Inflamed gums have a distinctive appearance. They'll bleed when you brush your teeth and they'll appear red and swollen. This is called gingivitis and it's very common once you reach adulthood. As the condition worsens, it could easily lead to infection. If it affects the gums, it may spread to the roots of the teeth or even the bony socket. Once the root of the tooth is involved, you could develop a particularly severe infection called an abscess. This is an accumulation of pus and inflammatory fluid that causes swelling and can be quite painful. Once you have an abscess, you'll need antibiotic therapy or perhaps a procedure called an incision and drainage to drain the pus that has accumulated. The tooth will likely be unsalvageable at this point without a root canal treatment, which certainly won't be available in a survival situation. Tooth abscesses, if untreated, sometimes cause bacteria to enter your circulation, and this can cause a life-threatening condition called septicemia, an infection of the blood. Diet plays an important part in the process of cavity formation. A diet that's high in sugar causes bacteria to produce the most acid. The longer your mouth bacteria are in eating mode, the longer your mouth has acid digging into your teeth. The two most important factors that cause cavities are the number of times per day and the duration of time that the teeth are exposed to this acid. Let's say you have a can of soda in your hand. If you drink the entire thing in 10 minutes, you've had one short episode in which your mouth bacteria are producing high quantities of acid. The acid level drops after about 30 minutes or so. If you nurse that soda, however, and sip from it continuously for hours, you've increased both the number of exposures to sugar and the amount of time that it's swishing around in there. The acid level never really gets a chance to drop and that leads to decay. More on dental preparedness in future videos. This is Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad.